one of the things that i've come to understand is that the advertising only business model is incredibly destructive so in the olden days the 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 newspaper industry had basically three pillars of revenue so there was reader revenue which was subscribers newsstand sales there was the classified ads which was great because classified ads you know people selling their cars or whatever it's very non political nobody there's trying to influence what's in the news uh, and then the, the corporate display advertising, so the inserts from the grocery store and the car dealer and all that. And people worried about the, that corporate influence on the media, but I think it was basically more or less okay um, because of the other two pillars. So a quality newspaper, a, a big serious newspaper like uh, the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times, they wouldn't refuse to run a story about a major advertiser that was incredibly negative in a public interest because they're a big advertiser. We might worry about that a little bit, but I think in general they did okay. Uh, but today we actually have a different model. Um, the, most of the news for the past several years uh, has been funded solely by advertising uh, in the online space, which has directly led to all the clickbait headlines, all the really fluffy content uh, and all of that. Uh, inside Wikipedia, you, you've saw, seen some of the community. People are very passionate about facts. Uh, the kind of people who are in Wikipedia really want to get it right. We don't always get it right, but, but generally uh, we do, and generally we try really hard to get it right. So now I'm working on a new idea, um, which I'm just in the middle of launching now. Uh, so the, the concept is called Wiki Tribune, and the name gives it all away. Uh, I'm bringing together a Wiki-style community, so a volunteer community to help write and uh, fact-check the news. 